I believe this is a known fact by now by anyone who's taken a glimpse at my channel, but I love Dungarumpa. Well, let's be honest, I made three RuPaul's Drag Race Dungarumpa videos and I loved making them. <laughs> so I have an obsessive, I wouldn't say it's obsessive, I have a kind of obsession with Dungarumpa and anything to do with it. So when I found out that Master Detective Archive Ring Code was going to be made by some people who worked on Dungarumpa, you bet your sweet buttocks I was gonna get the aim. And I have. I pre-ordered it. There will be an unboxing video at some point because I bought the special edition, which is £100. I may regret this, but I doubt it. So that will be in the future. But for now, I want to look through the characters and rate them with you guys because I have opinions and I am ready to share my opinions. To be honest, I'll be honest, I love most of the character designs. <laughs> I just, I love this art style. So anyway, you guys don't know what um, Master Detective Archives Rain Code is. It's it's a game that's coming out um, last day of June. It's a detective game. Sort of like Dungarumpa with its mystery and detective stuff. But apparently it's a bit like Persona as well with its fights. I believe there are fights in the game and it's a bit like Persona in that way. So I'm thinking we're going to see a Dungarumpa sort of Persona-esque game here. So yeah, we're going to go through the character designs. This is Yuma. Um, this is our protagonist with um, Amnesia. Honestly, super cute. I, <laughs> I, I always like how they go with, like, with their protagonists. Their protagonists are bland. They always go with bland protagonists, but... They're not that bland. They aren't that bland. I like this one. He's small. He's cute. And he's just... He's he's very cute. He's very cute. He's just so cute. Look at him. Look at that face. Look at that face. Oh, my lord. I love the eyes. Look at those eyes. I'm just noticing them. I love that. And here we are. We have our Shinigami with her little Shinigami there. Honestly, I love this design. It's giving... Ah, what is it giving? Hmm. It's giving a character we've already seen before. It's giving decoy protagonist from Dungarumpa 3. A bit. You, you guys who play Dungarumpa 3, you can kind of see it in the hair a bit and in the facials. It reminds me of, like... <sighs> Yeah, it reminds me of that. She, she's so cute. She's very, very pretty. I'm going to bet she's going to be hyperactive AF. And I'm going to be annoyed and love her at the same time. It's going to be like my relationship with Paimon. Also, this little guy is just so cute. I just love it. What's your eyes like? Ooh. Honestly, it's a very cute design and I like how they went with it. She's very on the pink side. Now, this guy, this guy is a guy. <laughs> I like how I'm just like, this is a guy. Now, I believe this is the most simped out of the most simped um, character design so far. He looks fucking cool. Let's be honest. He looks fucking cool. Oh, my God. He looks like uh, one of the guys from Dangarampa 2. Karekio Shinjuki? Shinjuki? Karekio? I don't know. I don't have to say his name, but <laughs> kind of gives that vibes, but I also do like him. He's Forte Spectral Projection, and he just looks really cool. He looks like he's just full of bandages. It's giving Dazai. <laughs> it's giving a Dazai. I honestly like his design very much. Forensic Forte. That's Spectral Projection. This is the other one. This is Life Detection. Honestly, I always like how they just go out of the box. Honestly, dude doesn't look too bad. Apex, yeah. He tends to be rude and tries to solve problems with violence. I can tell that by just lo looking at him. It's very nice to... 
it's very good when you can tell what sort of character they're going to be when you just look at them. I like him. He's not too bad. I want to know the story behind this mask thing, though. Hmm. I don't mind him. It looks cool. Ah, uh, here's the other one. Oh, look at him. Look at him. This is what I like about the Rain Code characters, is that they go out of their comfort sh zone. The They go out of their comfort zone. Because these characters here, you can tell that they were created by the creators of, like, of the artists of Dungarumpa. But this guy, this guy doesn't give the Dungarumpa feels that much. He does in a way, but not that much. And to be honest, we haven't seen old men in Dungarumpa to begin with. But look at him. He looks, he looks like he would hit you. He's a battle-hardened veteran. Yep, I can tell that. Guy could beat you. It'd be like Gerard from Teen Wolf. Like, damn, dude could just hit you with a stick and you'd be out of the battle immediately. <gasps> Animal Investigation. I instantly adore you. What the fuck? <laughs> I just noticed the dog's face. Oh my lord. The dog's face is adorable. What are you doing to the puppy? Okay, I may question you. Just the snake. The snake looks terrified. Is he just gonna have animals with him everywhere? Because, damn. Honestly, I do like his design. He has ears. He has fucking ears. And he's wearing fur. I'm gonna question him morally on this. Um, yeah. <laughs> he looks very serious. Um, gives off the impression of arrogance to those around him. I, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. Oh, we have another cute one. Disguise. Ooh, yeah, I can tell. Very cheerful. Uh, mystery solving is to become famous as a mystery solving superstar detective. Goofball energy. Likes hitting on women under the guise of investigation. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, cute. Just cute. I'm not giving much sort of like opinions on how they look and what's my true opinions on them. This guy looks cute. He looks cute. But we'll see how he behaves in game. I believe. But he looks cute. Just that's that's a bra. That's a bra. <laughs> I'm focusing more on their background than what they actually look like. That's a bra. Um. Okay. Oh. Oh. Who are you? Post cognition. The ability to see how a crime scene appeared at the time it was first discovered. It's giving. It's giving Will Graham from Hannibal. Um, uh, only believes in money and will not accept a request without payment, regardless of who the client may be. She's really pretty. Can I say that? She's really pretty. Look at her. She's real pretty. Her outfit confuses me. Her coat confuses me. Is it, is it very long? Does she have long legs? She's wearing boots. She's wearing... I'm not, I don't understand her clothes, but she looks adorable. She looks cute. She looks cute. She looks cute. Here we go. This is the one. This is the one that's giving best girl from Dungarumpa 2. Look at her. She's adorable. Like, oh my lord, she's so cute. She's got a little bow. And look at that little face. Oh, look at the little face. She's such baby. Baby energy. She, she, we protect. She avoids communication. She sometimes shows awkward reactions and intense displays of emotion co during conversation. She's just a little girl. She's so cute. I do like the fact that 
they they're using red as her accent color i do like that it gives more pop of color than some of the others although they all have one piece of accent color with um you don't really have an accent color you've got the purpleness you don't really have an accent color you have the red you have the red you have the yellow and you have like the sort of neon green yellow and you have the red it's really cute oh i don't think i've seen you time leap oh you could be very interesting and you're also very pretty she's got the braid guys she's got a braid everyone be wary just go braid this could be very this can be a very interesting character i am very interested in seeing how she'll play out her forte is time leaf so i am very interested oh oh oh, oh. spiritualism <laughs> I'm going to be honest, the picture that they're giving me doesn't give me much to work on. She's quick to like anyone with a body type that would suit her favorite outfits. Okay. Keen intellect behind her flamboyant appearance. Yeah, I can see her being the flamboyant. I like her heels. Hair. The hair. Oh, the makeup. She's wearing pink and purple. <gasps> She's got lavender lipstick. Okay, okay, she's she's a patch. She, yeah, she's a smash. She's a smash. Oh my lord. I don't know why I feel like... Okay, I, let's stay with this guy. I don't know why I feel like for him. The Nocturnal Detective Agency. So he's the head. I feel about him. He seems like a shady character just from appearance. That said, he is somewhat weak need, and his agency policy is to stay quiet and refrain from any overt behavior that may lead to conflict. Hmm. I feel like there's going to be more. There's going to be. I feel like there's a darker side to this guy. And of course, we have this guy. Who, I'm going to be honest, number one. Top detective. I'm going to be honest, I do like his design. He's, he's, oh my god. Yeah. I like him. I do like him. I do like him. When I first saw him, I, don't, I didn't like his designs. Because he looked like he's dead. But I do actually like him a bit more now. I've gotten used to him and he seems like the one that will probably hit me. <laughs> I say that like I'm into this. I'm not. Okay, let's go into the Am Amaterasu Corporation. Honestly, this corporation... Mwah, look at them. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't know what it is. These these guys are so cute. Okay, if we ignore Dominic here, and if we ignore um Swank here, these two are adorable. These two are adorable. Unhealthy looking man and a fast talking woman who tackles her work with enthusiasm and vigor. They're so cute. Like, oh my lord. Why can't you be a detective? Why can't you be a detective? Ugh. I don't know. It's just so cute. And then you have these two who are just like... You know they're going to cause trouble. You know they're going to cause trouble. And you will be fine with it. Oh. <laughs> oh. And then you got the other... Which is, ooh, you're new. Karumi Wendy, a girl living in Kane Ward who has a fascination with detectives. Ooh, you're pretty, you're cute. 
masked man, a mysterious masked man who lives on the top floor of Kane Tower. His tendency to speak in riddles makes it difficult to ascertain his true nature, but he seems to have ulterior motives. Oh, you see the mystery, my friends, the mystery. Yeah, this is rated Peggy 16. Peggy 16 is in my country. In my country, it's Peggy 16. It's mature. So it's violent, blood, suggestive theme, strong language, adventure. I guess I, I, I may, I may ignore the genre there. I would, for my predictions, it's going to be um, adventure, mystery, and a bit of horror. That's my predictions. Yeah, you can see the USD prices for this. For this, <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's um fifty pounds standard edition in the UK and a hundred pounds limited edition in the UK. I can't wait to buy this. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Can't wait to buy it. These are two new characters. Last time I was on here, I didn't see these characters. Oh. Overall, I am extremely excited for the game. Minds behind. From the minds behind the Dungarumpa series. I'm honestly very excited for this game. I'm and I'm extremely sad that I won't be able to play this until the Monday after, because this game comes out on June thirtieth, which is a Friday, and I'm working that weekend. So if it comes early enough on the Friday, I could probably play a couple of hours on it. Of course, when I get it, I will record an unboxing video for you guys, and that'll come out the week, and I will upload that the week after or the week after that but i'm very excited for master detective archives Rinko game and also nintendo direct is going to start in just over 40 minutes so there may be some exciting things here fingers crossed for tomodachi life 2 hopefully yeah i'm very 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 I can't wait for Raincoat. I can't wait. It's coming out next Friday, and I can't wait for it. Oh. Yeah, this is the limited edition. You have the digital deluxe edition, which is basically, basically the limited edition, but digitally. Yeah, so the mystif the mysteryful limited edition is what I will be unboxing, hopefully when it arrives. <laughs> and yeah. And here's where you can buy the game. And yeah. I honestly can't wait. I think my favourite thing from all of this is probably the art book because I love the art style. I love it. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I'm very excited for this game. <laughs> I'm very excited for this game. So, tell me guys if you guys are excited for this game, because I know I am. And yeah, tell me what character you like so far by design. But yeah, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.